Hi everybody, welcome to Enigmatic Electronics. My name is Steele. Uh, for those of you who subscribe to our channel, welcome back. We're glad to see you back. Today I want to share a little tip with you that I've learned in the machine shop here that I use in my machine shop because we're kind of limited on budget. And this works really well. Uh, most people who's done machining are familiar with slitting saws and I use these on occasion. I don't use them a lot, but I do use them on occasion. And this is some various sizes of professional made slitting saws. This is a Niagara. This is also a Niagara. Uh, this is a Thurston. This is a really thin one. Uh, here's a really large one, a Union. Uh, these are made by various companies. Standard high speed steel slitting saw. Very useful. Uh, these are there's two different styles of arbors. Professional made arbors that will hold these slitting saws. And most of us are familiar with those. But here's my tip. High speed steel circular saw blade with a carbide tooth. These work great. These are the small ones. This one's a 5 and 3 eighths. These come in different sizes. The key to these is you have to make an arbor for them. Because they do have an odd size hole. They're not designed for this. I made this arbor. As you can see I just laid it down. Drilled it. Tapped it out. Laid this in to accept it. Just goes through. It's got a uh, socket cap screw on the end that holds it. This is a piece of 3 quarter 01 drill rod. I didn't harden it. It's thick enough. It really doesn't need it. This works great. It's a good smooth finish. You go right in the collet of a uh, milling machine and it works really good. These are carbide toothed. You can usually find them relatively cheap. Uh, in fact, here's one. This is kind of coarse tooth, and you can tell I haven't used it because it's still in the package. But I got this for five dollars. Uh, it was on sale at a hardware store that didn't really sell this size much anymore. These will cut almost anything because they are carbide tooth. I've cut steel with these. Uh, I have not cut any hardened steel with these, so I cannot attest to how good that will do. They cut aluminum great, brass, just various materials. They cut really good. They are carbide tooth, so. And it's the same carbide they use on metal cutting bits. One objection I do have to them that you'll you'll see is you get a nice square profile with a professional made slitting saw. These are made for woodwork, so they kind of have a chip clearing design for wood. So you'll get a slight V notch, a male V notch inside the slit. It's just how the teeth are designed on them. You could go to the trouble of regrinding the teeth to a good profile, but that almost defeats the purpose of a quick, cheap, easy tool here. If you're going to go, if you need it that precise, go with the higher price one. So I hope that that'll help you be a little cheaper and more productive in your machine shop, your home machine shop. Uh, like I said, this is, unless I need something precise, this is what I've switched to using pretty much all the time are these circular saw blades. And you can get them in different sizes too just like the professional made things. So I hope that helped you out. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll come back and hit, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some comments. We'd love to hear from you. We'd like to hear from your comments and see what you got to say. Throw some tips that you've learned with stuff like this down there. We'd be glad to hear it. Uh, hope you come back and I hope I'll see you again. Until then, keep the voltage high and I'll see you on the neutral side.